This is gonna be a review video for this speaker right here. This is the Fotiv Hydra Bluetooth speaker. Um, I purchased this off of Amazon because I needed something to take out on the kayak for fishing. I like to listen to music while I'm out all day fishing. So I bought this and for $30, which is how much I paid for it, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed for the price of it. I found some other smaller speakers at Walmart they were the same price. They were like half the size. I didn't think that they would be worth $30. I came across this one browsing around on the internet. And uh, after reading some reviews on it, uh, I wanted to give it a shot. I'm only seeing a handful of reviews on this speaker on YouTube. Kind of another reason why I'm doing it. Um, you know, I, I actually really like this speaker so far. Um, I got it yesterday in the mail. Um, uh, again, I saw it on Walmart's website for the same price. I just ordered it from Amazon just because I could get it here faster, and I needed it for this weekend. So today's Wednesday, so um, and it came in the mail yesterday. I ordered it last Saturday, so I got here in like three days. <clears throat> so um, this is a pretty nice box. I'm going to keep the box around just to store the speaker in, uh, you know, keep dust and stuff off of it, even though it's, you know, protects against dust and water and all that, but... Either way, I figured it'd be nice just to keep it in the box. I could probably find somewhere to hang it with a hanger, but whatever. So, open it up. You know, you got your rugged dude that, you know, just shows you how rugged the speaker is. Because if it doesn't have a rugged bearded guy on it, it's not rugged, right? Okay, so, anyway. Um, disclaimer, I have already taken this out of the package. I've already bound it. I've already used it. I used it most of the day yesterday. Um, I haven't played it for the full eight hours, which is what it says that uh, the speaker can do. It says it can do eight hours of continuous listening. So I haven't had the chance to do, you know, like a full eight hours and see how well it does. Um, I'm sure volume will probably affect the battery life as well as how often you use it, how can you charge it, discharge it, all that. And I'm sure it's going to wear down the battery. Um, I'm not sure what kind of battery it takes. You know, where it was inside of it. Um, you know, it's not removable or anything. So once this battery fries, I'm sure this is junk. So, um, I mean, you could probably plug it in and use it, but then you're limited to wherever you have power. So, um, out of the box, um, it's pretty nice. It's got a nice soft rubber feel to it. It's textured. You got some sealed buttons here. You got your Bluetooth button here, which you can press and hold to bind it to another phone you can skip your tracks and you can adjust your volume the only thing about this speaker i could say i would i guess it's a negative or a, you know i like the least about it is that you can adjust the volume here but it adjusts the volume on the phone and not the volume for the speaker itself whereas you can have a separate uh, volume control so that it's not independent of each other you know, if you adjust the volume on here, it adjusts your volume up or down on the phone and vice versa. So anyway, um, so as soon as I got out of the package, I, you know, I had, it says to charge it first, all that, whatever. I plugged it in and paired it up with my phone and I was like, wow, this thing sounds great. I, you know, for $30, I think Walmart lists this as originally being like $129 and it's on clearance now on their website. So, you know, if you want to get it from Walmart. You can get it there. I got mine off of Amazon again because I can get it faster. So the only thing that came in the box was the speaker and this user guide, as well as you get a, uh, the brick is mine, but the cord it comes with, it's a micro USB cord. Um, it just requires that you have a, uh, a one amp charger. So this is a one amp output. So that's fine. If you have one of these laying around, you can use that. Uh, you could use your laptop to change it or charge it. It also comes with a headphone jack, so you can actually plug it directly from your phone or whatever device into the speaker using this. Um, I haven't tested this out yet. You can still still get the tie on there. Um, I'm not sure if there's a difference in sound quality. Sorry about that glare, guys. Anyway, on the uh, user guide, I wanted to look up what this IP66 rating was because... I'll be honest, I didn't know what it was. So it actually kind of breaks it down for you here. Um, again, it says this is a waterproof uh, 
uh, speaker. So my my assumption was that you know if it fell in the water or whatever it'd be okay. Now I'm not 100% sure still. Hang on. I'm doing this one handed, just using my phone here. There we go. Okay, so the rating for waterproof and liquids says, you know, it'll protect against strong pressure jets of water from all directions. Okay, limited ingress and in in permitted. So um, I'm assuming that you can probably drop it in water and quickly get it out, and it'll be okay. Um, because you can see a rating of seven would give it effect from uh, waterproof against uh, six inches to three feet, and then eight long periods of immersion under pressure. So um, I, I guess as far as water protection goes, I mean it's pretty high up on their little chart here. I guess that's cool. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. So with this speaker, I probably wouldn't submerge it in water intentionally. But if it did, I'm sure if you got it out quick enough and it didn't get too deep, and you have this cap closed, then you should be fine, okay? So, speaking of the cap, it's just a rubber cap. You can just peel it off like that, and then you can rotate that out of the way. And that gives you access to your on and off switch, your charging port, and your auxiliary port. So, first thing, um, like I said, it, this thing paired super easy. I didn't have any issues pairing it to my phone. I have I paired it to the iPhone I have in my hand right now. And my, uh, this is an LG Optimus G. It's a really old phone. But it paired just fine to that. So, you click it on. You'll see a little blue light come on. It starts flashing rapidly. And they're just paired to my phone there, so. I'm paired to my Bluetooth on that phone there, and it's ready to go. Uh, sound quality is really good. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. It sounds great. Like the bass is for as small as this is. Uh, I, I was impressed. I was actually very impressed with it. Um, I haven't used any more expensive speakers before, but uh, you know, for thirty dollars, I was like, man, this sounds fantastic. I would actually probably buy another one. Um, so here's the volume control. So it works like that. Yeah, you can adjust it off your phone too. So, anyway, that's what, that's you know I'm pretty sure you can't understand or get the uh, full effect of the sound quality with uh, the video. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll just take my word for it. I guess I don't know. I I watched a couple of reviews that I were was able to find find on this speaker, and again they were all pretty positive. Um, some of the Walmart reviews I saw, there were some people complaining about the sound quality not being good or whatever, and I don't know, some of those reviews you just kind of take with a grain of salt, you know, it's these guys that probably have, you know, $200, $300 Bluetooth speakers or something crazy like that, and they're trying to compare this to that, so I think that's kind of like comparing apples to oranges, um, so yeah, anyway, for 30 bucks, if you want to get a good, decent speaker, I would say this is it. Um, I've looked at other ones. I did a little bit of research. I didn't do a ton of research before I bought this. Um, but I'm very happy with it. I'm pleased. I think it's going to be great on the kayak this weekend. Listening to some tunes while I'm catching some largemouth. And I think it would be great. So anyway, if you guys uh, have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. And that's it.